Nick. Paul is a knowledgeable guy, had many years of international swimming at this level and he's an absolute whiz when it comes to background history of all these individuals and he'll bring you that throughout the evening. Park Jean Drapeau is a superb facility and actually today is no to doping day so all the officials are in green we can see them right there and we do have a very exciting start list there are 16 finals tonight across many many different classes and paul will uh, bring that to you in terms of what that means the s1 to s14 and perhaps uh, explain a little bit about sb classification as well simply representing uh, the breaststroke so it's going to be a very busy evening. Please do tell everybody about www.paralympicsport.tv as well as Twitter at IPC Swimming. So we're underway for the first event this evening, and that's the men's 50 metres backstroke S4. Yeah, you said, Nick, a number of classifications in disability swimming. This is the S4 class. Just a, a brief rule of thumb S1 to S10 for classes with a physical disability, S1 being the most severe and S10 being the least impaired. 11 to 13 are for those swimmers with a visual impairment and S14 are for those with an intellectual disability. We'll bring you more information about that as we go on. But now we have the starters for the first event this evening, the men's 50 metres backstroke S4. The world record holder, Juan Reyes from Mexico, goes in lane four next to his countrymate, Gustavo Sanchez Martinez. We missed the first three there. We had Mustafa Ev in lane one from Ukraine, Cordirio da Silva from Brazil in two, Petra Cech from the Czech Republic in three, Reyes and Matt Sanchez Martinez in the middle lanes, four and five, Lazikin from Russia in six, Skukas, Lithuania in seven, and Nelson Lopez is the final swimmer in this final from Portugal in lane number eight. Let's watch out for Reyes, fastest qualifier in lane four. World record holder at 42.71, set that record in Beijing when he became the Paralympic champion in 2008. And they're away, just one length of the pool. And going very well under water there is Petracek. He does like to stay under water for as long as he can. Has great undulating strength and rhythm there. He's certainly in the lead, kicking very, very powerful from the middle of his body and a clear body length clear of the rest of the field. Yeah, they've both got similar, very similar techniques there. Reyes with no arms at all and just one leg. And Petracek with very, very small arms and leg disabilities also. And it's going to be very, very tight here because Petracek is giving the world record holder a real race here. Both these swimmers will finish on their heads. They don't have the arms to finish on an arm stroke. So that might give the swimmer in lane five an advantage. But Reyes coming through now, bangs in with his head there. Well, he just gets it. 45.97. The world record holder is now the world champion. Juan Reyes from Mexico. We're just looking for that. It was very, very tight at the finish. Petra Cech with 0.2 of a second behind the world record holder, Juan Reyes. But the result goes to Mexico. They take the first gold medal of the evening. Well, once again, a clear demonstration how events can be won on starts, turns and finishes. Of course, no turns here. The fastest swimmer, of course, was Petra Cech, no doubt about that, but didn't quite keep his speed going. The speed endurance uh, of... Reyes really came through there. Some magical pictures brought to you here by the host broadcasters, really bringing the waters alive. That's certainly very inviting. And there are the official results. Reyes takes the gold medal, the world record holder, now the world champion. Petra Cech, the silver, and Sanchez Martinez, the bronze. Zikin in fourth, just outside.